Dear brothers and sisters, today in the epistle of St. Paul the Apostle to the Ephesians, we hear St. Paul talking about the many gifts that God has bestowed upon his faithful ones. And in despite the variety and the number of various gifts offered, there is one spirit. To those who are given the gift to teach, should teach, heal, should heal, exhort, should give to exhortation, to prophecy, those should prophesy. But these are all founded and rooted in one spirit. And we too see that there are those who are natural teachers, those who are natural healers, those many of us have gifts and they just exude out of us in our professions that we choose. And all this comes from one God, one spirit, all rooted in the commandment of love. God says, Christ says, love God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind, and with all your strength, and love your neighbor as yourself. It's interesting. He doesn't tell us to build this or that. He doesn't tell us to accomplish this or that. He tells us to love. And that's our work. That's the labor that's set before us to love. And we all know from experience how to truly love sometimes is even more difficult than the hardest things that we have to do in this life. More difficult than the hardest projects at work, more difficult the hardest the hardest homework assignments we had in school. Sometimes it's hard to love those who don't love us. It's hard to love those who retreat from us. It's hard to love those who hate us. But nevertheless, that's our work. To love God and to love our neighbor. That's all of life is about. And so when we hear today's gospel reading, the parable of this rich man who thought to himself, look at all the things that I have accomplished. Let me do everything possible to preserve this so I can now rest. But if our work in life is to love, there is no rest. There is no retirement. Yes, we may retire from our work in this world, from our jobs, from our professions. We may receive a pension. But our work is always before us to love. Regardless whether we are in the midst of raising a family and working to pay off our home, or whether we are comfortably retired and visiting our grandchildren, our work never stops. Because in today's gospel reading, the parable, Christ calls us not to be rich in ourselves, but to be rich in God. To be rich in God means to help, to support. St. Paul says in his epistle to the Galatians, bear one another's burdens and so fulfill the law of Christ. St. Ambrose of Optina calls, calls us to this duty of being kind and merciful. He says, those who are kind and merciful with all sincerity find the shortest path to salvation. Because it is through kindness and mercy <coughs> grounded in love that we accomplish that which Christ expects from us. We know Christ himself says, if you have done this to the least of my brethren, you have done it to me. If you have fed the hungry, 
visited the sick, clothed the naked, went to those in prison. If you have done anything to those in need, you've done it to Christ. Whether we have a food drive or a collection, no matter what we do, if we do it with all sincerity in support of those around us who are in need, then we are doing God's work. So we never retire from that. We never rest from that. If we are created in the image and likeness of God, God who is love, God who is Trinity, then we live when we love. If we don't love, we aren't alive. We exist. And yes, the world around us weighs on us whether it is job-related, whether it is stress of raising a family, whether it is sickness and sorrow of those around us or ourselves, whether we have to bear with all kinds of temptations and difficulties, that commandment still remains. And the more we love, the more we live, the more we live, the stronger we become so that we can bear with all of this. And when we need help, those who are stronger than us, than us come and b help us bear our infirmities, help us to bear our weaknesses, help us to overcome, and in so doing, fulfill the law of Christ. So let us, brothers and sisters, always be prepared to work spiritually, always be prepared to love, to sacrifice, to give. <coughs> Because in so doing, we fulfill the law of Christ. In so doing, we fulfill the calling to which we were all called. In so doing, we ultimately live. Live as God intended for us to live. Not for our own sake, but for God's sake. Not so that we can accumulate, but so that we can give. And by doing this, we emulate Christ which brings to us salvation. Amen.